Hello and welcome. Today I want to talk about Joshua J. Not just about Joshua J, but about his fantastic book right here, Magic the Complete Course by Joshua J. I just, you know, uh, for the longest time, this this was the book that I grew up with, okay? Here, I, Here am. I am. I'm 14 years old. I'm 12 years old. I'm hanging out at the Yogi Magic Bar. I want to learn magic. Phil Thomas says, you got to get this book, David. You got to get this book. Now, back in those days, the Mark Wilson Course in Magic had a vinyl cover. It was blue. It had a, it, it was it was bound. It wasn't like this. It wasn't a book. It was it was bound. So it opened flat. You could study. It came with props. Uh, this was state of the art in the 1970s. Okay, state of the art in the 1970s. Now you go back a little before the Mark Wilson Course in Magic, and what you have is Henry Hay, the Amateur Magician's Handbook. Actually, these came out at roughly the same time. This might have been a little bit before Mark Wilson, but not too much before Mark Wilson. They do different things, by the way. Um, this this is a little more. It'll it'll get you ready to perform in venues a little better than Mark Wilson will. This covers the venues a little bit better. Uh, this, this, but this, I still do magic from the Mark Wilson course. I still do magic from Henry Hay. But these were the books. If if you were a magician in the 1970s, these were the books that you probably came up on. So, so the complete course comes along in 2008. And let me just flip through here so you can see, uh, see what you're getting here. You see the way it's it's lavishly illustrated, not with drawings, but with actual photographs, and a good many of the effects that are that are illustrated in this book are actually on the DVD. So this is this is magnificent. It truly is. I mean, if you're looking. For a beginner set, a, a, a beginner book on magic, this, this thing is just fantastic. I highly recommend it. Let me give you a little bit about Joshua J. Joshua J. was born October 30th, 1981. Young man, young man. Became interested in magic when his father showed him a card trick, but did not explain how it was done. Is there any better way to get a kid interested in magic? 2008, Joshua and friend Andy Gladwin founded Vanishing Ink Magic, which you know has, has just become a heavy hitter in the magic dealer business. One of the things I think Vanishing Ink is doing well is they're producing original magic. They're getting some of the great performers to put their material out there through Vanishing Magic exclusively. So you really can't get a lot of what Vanishing Magic is producing through any other dealer unless Vanishing Magic chooses to sell it to them because they're producing it. So I gotta hand it to Joshua in, in, in becoming a great dealer. In uh, From 2011 to 2019, he collaborated with HBO on Game of Thrones. In 2015, he appeared on Penn and Teller Fooled Us and he fooled them. So uh, congratulations, Joshua. January 30th, 2016, at the Columbus Magic Fest, Joshua set the Guinness World Record for most selected cards found from a shuffled deck in one minute. He found 21 cards. 2018, he consulted with the United States Postal Service on the design of their magic postage stamps. His writing credits include the Magic, the Complete Course, uh, 2010, The Amazing Book of Cards, 2014, Big Magic for Little Hands, and he served for 12 years as the trick editor on Magic Magazine. So folks, uh, once again, my purpose in doing this video is to alert you to this book, encourage you to pick it up. I think the DVD is just excellent. No matter what level of magician you are, you will learn something. Uh, so be encouraged to do that. Thank you so much for joining me. Please subscribe if you've not done so already. Please comment down below. I love your comments. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time.